Um, the laws that, that impact the gay and lesbian communities and, and the other communities uh, do so in, in a couple of ways. First, they do so without us having any input in them because we're completely underrepresented, not only at the federal level in Congress, but in every single state we are underrepresented, which means we have the straight community making laws about us, not just for us, but about us and defining us. And sometimes these laws define us through omission. For example, in Ohio, you currently can not discriminate against people based on a variety of characteristics, gender, race, age, ability, um, and a few others. But we've left out sexual orientation and gender identity and expression. So people have taken that to mean, oh, we can discriminate against you based on these factors. And they have done so. And when they've been sued or we've gone through the legal process, uh, we've come out on the side of the, the people who would discriminate because the law doesn't view us as a, a group of citizens worthy of um, a protection under the law despite the 14th Amendment because we aren't laid out. Or uh, you get things that, that um, when they finally do define us, they define us you know, very narrowly. Um, we have a few positive examples. Maryland specifically says, uh, they've just passed the, the marriage equality law, and theirs very specifically says gay and lesbian couples can get married as opposed to in Ohio where we have the laws that again, you know, discriminate through omission. You know, marriage is one man and one woman and it will always be one man and one woman. You can't get married somewhere else and then bring that marriage license back into Ohio and receive any protections or any benefits. Um, we have with the, the uh, in 2009, the Matthew Shepard and James Byrd Jr. anti-discrimination laws or uh, hate crime laws, whatever, the Matthew Shepard Act of 2009. Um, is the first time that the word transgender appears in any federal legislation at all. So that's a community that even within the LGBTQ community has been further ignored through the laws or harmed through the laws because they simply haven't even existed 